Today we'll be painting a cardinal sitting on a branch. Your canvas or your paper will look like this with one branch coming out for your bird to sit on. Or it may look like something like this, but both will have one branch coming out. Step one, looking at a cardinal, their body, it's kind of shaped like a moon really, comes down with a curve and back with a wing and a tail. If you feel like you would like to trace that shape first with a pencil, you would start down here on the branch, and just come up, curve shape, and back down. If you feel like you would need a stencil to get that shape, there is an option of a few stencils at your table, or you could pre-draw. Your bird can be large, or small, or medium. There's a few from many years ago. They'll all turn out different sizes, different shapes. Whatever you create, say, ooh la la, I love it. To get started, if you would like, you trace that shape, then you'll paint that shape red. You notice on your paper plate you of colors, you have red and you have some magenta. I'm saving the magenta for the wing so that it'll stand out a little better. It's okay if the edges are a little rough because feathers aren't perfectly smooth. So it's almost like your shape, you're painting a curve, moon. Hey, it's kind of like a capital D also. There we go. This top part is the bird's, I call it the mohawk, those feathers that kind of go backwards off its head. Now, dip into the magenta and let's add the wing. The wing starts right about here where, sh if this was a human, that's where the shoulder would be. I think I'd also like just a touch of black. You'll also have a paper plate, a paper plate where your black is separate. How about a little black mixed in with that magenta so it shows up. If you need help sketching a wing on top of that body, I would be happy to assist you with a guideline. So here's the wing. And notice we're not covering up this branch because the bird is sitting on this branch. So here's our main basic shape. You don't need to wash your brush between the red and the magenta. You can just double dip. And then we need a tail. The tail can come down and out a little bit. It can either be separate feathers, like three separate feathers of red and magenta one two, three, like that. Or you could kind of blend them all together into this fashion. Either way is nice. Next, we just need a little beak. You could dip into your orange and black or your orange and red. And with a small brush, you just gently can just touch your paper twice and you create a beak. We'll add that little black raccoon, raccoon kind of part of his of the face after this red dries a little bit more. I think I want to add just a little bit more to the belly so I cover up my pencil line and come all the way down to the branch. Voila! And there is your cardinal's body. Next we're moving on to the tree. This is a birch tree there's two ways that you can do your birch tree. You can either use a small brush to dip in some black. We've done these before. You just paint some little lines or little knot holes on this white birch tree. And then we will add a few leaves. Oops, backtracking. We actually need to add just a few more branches. After we make our bird, we add just a few more branches. That way we'll have a place to add a few more leaves and decorative berries. So diagonals heading up and off the page. Branches always grow towards the sky. So diagonal up, diagonal up. Another one maybe here, diagonal up. A little bit wiggly line. And if you want to go back over these twice, just to give them a little more depth or texture. 
depends on how patient you are. There we go. And how about just one small branch maybe going off the edge right there. Okay, now that we have a few more branches, we actually do move on to that step of adding the black lines and four knot holes. So with the black, we add a few here, here, here. And sometimes I like to even kind of like paint a little triangle shape. There we go. Now cardinals always have a little black around their eye. I'll give you a close-up of a real cardinal. It's above the beak and below the beak, and then it goes out to a bit of a point right here. It's kind of like it's wearing a mask. <laughs> so now that that red's a little bit drier, get a small brush. Remember, above the beak, you come out a little. Down below the beak, you kind of come up and join right there. It's a bit of a triangle shape. That is the standard signature of the cardinal. There we go. Now we're going to add, I'm just going to add a few little tiny toes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're going to add for color some leaves and some red berries. This is once again a picture of a cardinal in the winter sitting in a tree with some greenery and some red berries. Here's a cardinal in the spring with some greenery and pink blossoms. In order to create leaves, if you simply have a tapered brush, which is a brush that has a straight edge, dip that into your green paint and gently press it onto your paper. The shape that you get is somewhat resembles a leaf. So I like to do, often in nature, you've got groups of three. So I'm going to put three there, and now I'm going to switch for a little bit smaller brush for a few smaller trees. In art, if you can have groups of, tree, of three in large, medium, and small, that's always a nice contrast. Three large, three small. You can take a lot of time on your greenery, adding some interest to your tree, and then adding some red berries. Or if you'd like to add some pink berries or think of them as blossoms, that can be an option also. There we go. Okay, I love it. Here's your tiny, tiny brush in the red for your berries. So you just dip in and touch. Oops, let me get that up close again. Dip in and touch. Hey, if you'd like to dip in maroon and red, since you've got it there, you could also do that just to make it a little different. So once again, dip in the red, straight down, straight up. And that red brings out the red of the cardinal. And there you have your cardinal in a birch tree. If you happen to be someone that has a tree with more branches, it will take you a little longer to add all your birch tree markings, so just be patient. There's also one other technique. Oh, there's also the little eye. Right before the end of class, you can add a tiny dot of white for the eye. And it's usually in this black area, about a little slightly above the beak. And once that dries, we'll put a black dot inside of that. Now back to that tree with more branches. If indeed you have a tree that has a lot more branches, there's one other technique you may be interested in that you're welcome to try. It is dipping a used gift card or a stiff card into a very small amount of paint. You put it on the edge of your birch tree and pull, drag. Let me show you the design that you will get, or the texture. You put it on the edge of your tree. Oops, that's a little too much black. I'm gonna this time hold it straight up. Let's see what that looks like. Too much on my card. Try it again. I 
be patient here for a minute. There we go. Maybe you practice on your maybe you practice on your paper plate till you get something that you like. It's a lot less control than your brush. So I'm not loving this, but it is an option if you want to work with it and get something that you're li you like, you're welcome to. Otherwise, you can use your tiny brush. And there we have it. Cardinals in a birch tree.